Hey there game makers and welcome back to another basics video tutorial about finding stuff in your own projects and at some point let's say you just return to your project after two or three months of not touching it and then you're like oh where is actually my, my this and that and where did I use this because at some point well you just forget things because you're not in the zone anymore and you just forget stuff this is completely normal so um, here a few little helpers and spoiler alert it's actually easy it's control F control shift F and uh, F3 that's it nothing more you actually need to know here and then you need to distinguish here on the right side finding your assets per se so your sprites your objects and uh, everything this is just basically finding them by name that's it or wh which one you used recently and here a little bit more on the left side on things where you write your code so your scripts your objects your shaders and god knows what else and then there maybe you want to fine-tune and you know find where for example where did I actually use this sprite where did I use this variable uh, where's the reference to this and that and therefore this is more granular but actually kind of easy to understand once you see it alrighty so let's go to the right side this dude here your assets your actually your fixed things so for example let's say uh, spr because all my sprites are called spr something and then they got a name and so on as you can see it finds everything which has spr and then of course we can go enemy and then it will of course fine tune it to whatever you're looking for so this is pretty sweet and of course you can just restrict it not just to all types let's say you just want to look for sprites or for tile sets or for things so once again you can go a little bit more granular with your search query which is pretty sweet or a pretty uh, hidden thing that's well, not too hidden but you can just go under quick access and then recent and boom actually you find ah I was the last time I was just um, well um, working on the object cutscene player because this is the last thing which was recently a thing and then you just double click and then you're in and of course you can just put in some favorites and tags and god knows what yeah <laughs> good enough for me but let's say you have a huge huge humongous um long 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 big um let's say event let's go actually in this dude here and then you want to search for something in there so for that you just use Control f and then whatever you want to find so let's say um Let's go for index there you will find tons of entries and you can just you know toggle through all of them and maybe you find whatever you're looking for or you can even if you like make this a little bit bigger and then you have here replace so you can actually find this thing which you're looking for and then you can you know apply and uh, replace it here just be careful because you can replace a lot of things to here handle with care but let's say you want to uh, I don't know for example I'm using a variable this is of course just an example which is called dialog index and dialog index so this dude here and actually I used it quite a lot in different kind of um, well objects so for that we can actually use control F but here control and shift F and then boom we got this search and replace and this is global scope and then for example you can just uh, find the next one and then your search console will pop up and just tell you like hey where is that stuff of course if you just go for let's go for index this is a very uh, not a good search in, in my project because you will find a lot of <laughs> a lot of things and as you can see uh, <laughs> you need to be a little bit more specific here but once again here this global search you can just um, cram it down and just say like hey just search in the objects because I guess this is where you most of the time will be spent so here you can just go a little bit more granular and then uh, case sensitive you can just you know clamp it down a little bit on things where you want to find stuff and then if you like you can replace them once again really careful with that because uh, you can change a lot of things and later on just get lost in that so this is the other thing or for example let's say you are in your thing which you want to go through um, well then you can actually pr press F3 and then you will have this thing where you can toggle through all of them 
and it will jump into the objects where it does is and then uh, this is the way it goes so this is the way of finding stuff and then of course if you have the search console you can just you know double click on on this line because here hmm, what is this you double click and then it will actually jump in there so these are the quick ways of finding stuff <laughs> well in your projects because you're getting completely lost because you're just having bazillions of uh, things which are called the same or you just you know you forget some things which is completely normal in huge projects alrighty hopefully that was a little helper for you and because it's actually a helper for me as well and then maybe you can profit from that as well see you in the next time have a good one one up indie